What's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to any new subscribers. Today, we're gonna be busting out our top 10 common myths that we get asked during either reptile shows or over social media. So these are the top 10 stupidest myths we've ever heard that we're gonna tell you so you know so you don't fall victim to these stupid myths. These are the ones that like people ask us all the time at reptile shows, over social media. Some of them are tricky but... Some of them I believed when I was three years old. Yeah, exactly. First one, chameleons change color to match their surroundings. They do not. That'd be awesome. And I know everybody's seen that video where the veil chameleon's changing colors to the sunglasses, but it's not true. Yeah, they change their color more for temperament, temperature, mood, humidity, things like that. Environmental factors, not, oh, there's a green leaf behind me, so I'm gonna turn green, or a polka dot shirt, I'm gonna turn polka dot colors. Next myth, crested geckos should not eat mealworms, and mealworms could chew through the stomach of your gecko and kill them. I actually heard this when I first started getting into reptiles that I shouldn't feed mine meals or superworms because they'll eat through the stomach. That's not true because the, <laughs> the animal is eating the mealworm, so the mealworm is dead by the time it gets in the stomach. Not just that, but let's say, you know, a lot of animals eat the, the, the insect and sometimes they kind of swallow them whole. Um, well, the, the acids in the stomach will kill the, the mealworm. Mealworms don't really tend to bite. Superworms can bite, but once it's dead, it's dead. It's not gonna hurt. And trust me, it, we've been feeding superworms forever. It's not, nothing's gonna happen. All right, myth number three. A snake will measure you up before it decides whether it wants to eat you or not. Do people believe this shit? Oh. Like, <laughs> anyways, I've actually heard this myth two or three times. People have told me that the big Burmese pythons or anacondas, if you keep them in your house, like free roaming or something, at night they'll measure you up in your bed and then to see if they could eat you. I just picture a snake going up to you, it's like, mm, all right, 48 and a half inches. Yeah. I can eat him, right? Wait, who's 48 and a half inches? Stop, that's mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that, snakes are not that smart, fortunately for us. And to be honest, most of these big constrictor pythons or, or an, not anaconda or something, they, don't, they, they can't eat us. They're not big enough to eat us. And we're intimidating to them. Like, they're not gonna strike at us or try to eat us because we stand up so much taller than them. So they, if they strike, it's usually as a defensive bite or something, but it's not to attack you and eat you. And that actually leads us to myth number four, where a reptile is gonna attack you unprovoked. Now, most of, most of what happens when a reptile attacks you, let's say in captivity, it's either from mishandling, you cornering a scared animal, they're not just gonna come at you for absolutely no reason. Yeah, I mean, the, obviously there's always exceptions to a rule, like we do have some like geckos that like, they will, if they see you, they try to strike at you or something, but 99% of the time, an animal, whether it's a dog or a, or a reptile, it's not gonna go after you to like, necessarily like kill you or strike at you or bite you it's gonna do it more as a defensive you know um, reaction next myth reptiles will grow to the size of their enclosure and by the way people say this about fish too which is also a myth that's really where I learned it because I started off with fish first and they're like yeah if you want to keep your fish smaller that's supposed to grow big keep it in a small aquarium it won't grow because the tank is small. That's not true. The animal is going to keep growing, especially as long as you're feeding it. The animal is going to keep growing and it's going to outgrow the enclosure. Next myth, your reptile will love you like your dog or your friend will. This is one of my favorite ones because people ask us this. People tell us this all the time. Yeah, they don't tell us, like, they don't ask us. They yeah, tell us. they're like, yeah, my crusty gecko loves me. Like I know like most reptiles don't love people, but mine definitely loves me. Like, no, it doesn't love you back. And I know this comes from a good place that you guys are saying it, but let me assure you, your crested gecko is using you for food <laughs> and shelter. Yeah, it's more like used to you, you know, tolerates the yeah. handling well. The only exception I would give is maybe like a bearded dragon or something. <laughs> but yeah, even then, they don't love you. They just love the food that you give them. Next myth, all reptiles lay eggs. 
No, that is not true. All reptiles do not lay eggs. There's actually like stuff we work with like blue tongue skinks. They actually give live birth. It's really cool. It's like an egg inside their body, incubates in their body, and then they come out of the sack and then they're born as a whole live animal. There's a lot of boas that do it as well. Abronias. Abronias. But if you watched our videos, you would know that. One of the biggest myths is reptiles are carry salmonella and they will get you sick if you handle them or whatever. Now, while there is some truth to this, like if an, an animal is kept very dirty and you're handling that animal and you eat something, you can catch salmonella, it's probable, yes. But if you keep your animals like you should be, if you're not doing anything dumb, like sticking your frog in your mouth or anything like that, you're probably not gonna catch salmonella. It's common sense. Raw chicken is way more likely to transmit salmonella to you than handling your bearded drag. Undercooked eggs as well. Just be sanitary, you know, just like when you're messing with a dog or a cat or anything. You know, wash your hands, be, be clean, be sanitary, clean their enclosures. If you do all that, you're, you know, unless you're getting pooped in your mouth constantly by, a, by whatever you have, you don't really have to worry about that. Another myth, toads will give you warts if you handle them. If you grab a toad from outside, you're gonna get warts on your hands, it's gonna be disgusting, nobody's gonna like you. Myth, toads can't give you warts, but toads, some toads do have like a little secretion they release when an animal is about to eat them or something so that, you know, the animal backs off and that can taste disgusting if you put the toad in your mouth, which I hope you don't, but it's not gonna give you warts, so. Yeah, I actually learned that about that myth as a kid because I actually did get a wart right here, as you guys can see, but you could, like David said, you could only get it from another person. Man, he's dirty. <laughs> now our last myth is that, this, is, this one's actually really popular, Oh, my crested gecko looks so lonely. Should I get it a friend? So does my reptile need a friend or companion? The most of the time, the answer is no. Most reptiles are solitary creatures. They prefer being completely alone. They don't like other reptiles. They, a lot of times they don't like other, even people getting in there messing with them. There are very few exceptions. Some reptiles that are communal and do benefit off of more of like- Groups. The, yeah, in groups. But for the most part, reptiles prefer to be left alone and by themselves. Uh, as a bonus myth, since David's been to New York, he's gonna take this one away. All right, so believe it or not, a couple years back, there was a myth that there'd be alligators that be living in the sewers of New York. Now, I don't know who came up with this. Maybe the same guy that made up the story about the Ninja Turtles, but <laughs> that is not true. They would not survive in New York, especially with that cold and how about, like, who, how, what would they eat, like, yeah. they would just eat, like, trash, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, and it's, these guys, you know, they do need the sun, the UV, the sunlight, they need yeah. heat. I mean, I'm sure people have released gators in sewers, maybe, you know, and somebody yeah, caught one. And, let me assure you, they probably did not. It's probably well. gonna die, they're, they're, it's not gonna be a Teenage Mutant Ninja alligator coming out anywhere from New York sewer systems. All right, guys, as always, hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you subscribe and Make sure you follow us on all of our social media outlets, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. We post individual content on all those platforms. Also, make sure you support us on Patreon and support USR. They're what make this thing run. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you next week.